Imagine you find yourself stuck in the middle of a jungle. You've no idea where you are. You begin to hear the sounds of animals off in the distance. The light is starting to fade and it feels scary. And just as you're beginning to despair, you see a flash of steel and wielding a machete, cutting his way towards you is someone that you begin to recognise. And as he approaches you, you realise that this is Bear Grylls. So now, how do you feel? Your circumstances haven't changed at all. You're still stuck in the middle of the jungle, but now you have a guide. And not just any guide, someone who knows what he is doing. Someone who will inspire confidence in you as he leads you through the jungle. In the 23rd Psalm, in verse 3, we read this. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. So often when we think about God's guidance, we can get hung up on the specifics, the things that we want God to step in and give us an answer on right now. And I think sometimes, sometimes when we do that, we treat God a little bit like the Wizard of Oz, the person that we go to to dispense whatever it is that we are looking for the one we go to to meet my own wishes for my life. But really, having the Lord guiding our paths is not so much about a flash of revelation, not a thus saith the Lord, clouds parting kind of moment. And, and there can be moments when that happens, but it's not the normal way that we are called to walk with God. It's much more about a lifestyle of walking with the Good Shepherd, knowing his presence, knowing that he will lead us and keep us safe. So in John chapter 10, Jesus, in describing himself as the Good Shepherd, says, my sheep know my voice and I know them. In the version of the 23rd Psalm that I usually read, this verse says, he guides me along right paths for his name's sake. Some versions put it like this, he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So which is it? Is it the right path or the paths of righteousness? Well, actually, they're both the same thing because God's right paths are righteous paths. They are ways that are good and in keeping with God's ways, with God's character. And, and he guides us down these paths, not just to fulfill our wishes, but for his name's sake for his sovereign love and care. This verse is sandwiched between a verse that talks about your shepherd guiding you down paths where uh, you're in lush green valleys and by still waters. And on the other hand, your shepherd leading you through dark valleys. Now, I don't know about you, I, I'm generally much more up for the green pastures and the still waters than I am the dark valleys. But the point is, we're not guaranteed that the paths we walk down in life will be comfortable or easy or the paths that we would necessarily choose. But we are guaranteed that the Good Shepherd will be there for us 
with us walking down these paths and just as just as you have Bear grills beside you in the jungle <laughs> actually far more than that having Jesus the good shepherd walking beside you in every situation of life that changes things your situation your circumstances might look the same but you have a new confidence because you know who goes with you and this is the this is the key to walking with God it's knowing who it is who is with you and who provides for you in every moment let me read to you uh, in finishing a prayer and uh, this is a prayer by Thomas Merton my Lord God I have no idea where I am going I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I'm following your will does not mean that I'm actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does, in fact, please you. And I hope that I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me along the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore will I trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. Amen.